Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is The Amazing Guy, and right now I'm bringing you another Tits and Tricks video on the map Arkadin. I love this map, guys. I'm going to be using the PP9 OM1, I believe is what it is. I always kind of forget necessarily what it's called because it's kind of just like letters and numbers, but what I do know, guys, this gun is like a ball of death. I love this gun. I love using this. Well, probably my favorite submachine gun so far, maybe except for the P90, but I love it, guys, and especially on this map, it does really good. So, um... Uh, just for tips and tricks on this map, and you guys are going to hear me say this a lot, I'm not the greatest player of all time in Call of Duty, but I am an above average player, and um, my KD might be somewhere around 1.5 to 2, it's, I know it's lower than that right now, but that's kind of what my um, KD is going to average in this game, I believe, so... By watching this gameplay, hopefully you guys will be able to learn a couple of things. I just get my predator missile right there, and I think I'm about to die. So, at least when I first point. On this map, you when you're running your kill shigs, you don't really want to use that much air support on this map. Because most of the people stick to the insides of the map. And there is that courtyard kind of right there in that mall area. But running air support is not necessarily going to do you the greatest on this map. Because there's not, other than this spawn right there, the courtyard, and the back spawn on the other side. Everybody kind of sticks to the inside of the map, and air support's not going to do this that very good. So, I get paid out of this care package and I was really excited in the game when I got it so I called in and it actually only gets one kill so pe people stick inside guys on this map and using air support uh, unless you're really lucky is probably not going to do so great for you so I suggest maybe running support on this map um, maybe running juggernaut the juggernaut suit or an osprey um, gunner care package drop thing the osprey drop uh, I believe maybe that's what it's called. Um, ex just correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments. But special, I mean, support is going to do you really good on this map, guys, because first of all, it doesn't reset, and then you can kind of. This map is more gun on gun than than it is air support. So just um, just kind of set up your kill streaks where it's not air support based. Maybe have a predator missile because like, you most likely will get a kill with a predator missile on this map, but. That's the advice I can give you for setting up your kill streaks, guys, or point streaks as they're now called. Do not put like Pavlos, AC-130s on because you're really not going to get that many guys because they stick inside. Yeah, there is cracks and stuff, but I recommend not necessarily having that stuff on. So, um, guess my next point in this map for what gun to use. Um, assault rifles do good here. Some machine guns do here. I want to recommend shotguns because just looking at areas like this, there's really not. Um, it's kind of long ranges of sight and. And you, yeah, you'll get hallways like this, which is my favorite hallway right here because it's like the hallway of multi kills. People from this spawn always come there, and you can always just catch a lot of guys cramp through here. That's a good place for a shotgun, but stick to um, some machine guns and assault rifles on this map. They're they're gonna do the best, guys. I, I can promise you that. So um, I'm actually using the assault package here, like I was saying earlier, and I get my care package, and I think I'm about to get an A6 Overwatch Little Bird, um, little helicopter that follows you around guys and I this the next couple maybe a minute of gameplay isn't gonna be all too exciting because I'm trying to stick to the outside of the map to see how good this thing really is because I've never really used it but um, the air support people don't really come out come outside that much it's brief it's usually crossing to kill guys they do not necessarily stick outside and camp little corners and stuff so um, this A6 overwatch doesn't even get me a kill I, I don't think it's just people everywhere and and if you're sticking around like I am kind of out in the middle you just have to be really aware of where guys can come because people can come from that direction they can come from behind me right now they can be camping above the map looking through those windows up there trying to kill me they can be anywhere so if you're camping in this little courtyard you really have to know what you're doing and be aware so um, I guess the power positions for this map I wouldn't necessarily say that there's really any that good power positions, maybe at the top of those escalators that the little area I was just in, but people are going to be coming from all directions and they'll be coming from down below, so really, I guess the, the biggest power position of this map is going to be up here near these escalators right there, because there's it's just like kind of the way it's laid out, it kind of reminds me of Terminal some some way, just the mass layout, but you want to hold try to hold the middle of this map and you're gonna get guys channeling through the escalators like here where I'm coming from and then the other escalator so if you control that and kind of um, set up accordingly to that then you can take out guys and you'll build up your streaks no problem but you don't want to get caught up staying outside the map and as you can see right there I die but looking to the left of my position I can be looking through those windows killing guys I can be um, looking through the doorways killing them just camping the, the escalators so just this general area right here is really the best spot to set up and uh, get high kill streaks guys I like this map I think it's a great map to play on. Submachine guns dominate here. 
and um, that's really all I can say for the map standpoint. Just to help you get better for maybe just a general player standpoint, what I struggle with, and you've heard me say this probably in my past few videos, look at your radar, you have to find a balance of peripheral vision to look at your radar and look at the screen and to use your better judgment to know where the guys are going to be because if you know where the guys are going to be then it's just going to make you a better player because you know where they're going to be so um, I like to run assassin on a lot of my classes and I know that it's not necessarily people give it a bad name but assassin gives me the best thing to do it, it I like that perk because I don't like to be seen by the enemy. I like to be the guy that sneaks up behind them and necessarily might not be in the most hectic spot, but kind of catches them off guard and builds up streak that way. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you are not subscribed yet and you want to see more videos, then you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter where you can suggest ideas for new videos of mine and follow me on the Facebook app of Respawn Army where you can bump on my videos and help me get noticed by Machinima. Thanks guys.